Hello everyone, it's Reptile Guide once again, and in this amazing tutorial video, I am going to show you how to create AI tools for free on your WordPress website, or you can implement it on any kind of website, not just WordPress alone, you can implement it on any kind of WordPress website. So this tool is generated using chat GPT only, and um, let me show you how this tool looks like. This is actually an AI tool generator tool that I used chat gpt to create so i'll be providing you the code and also i will teach you how to edit the code and also i will tell you the same process i went through to produce this code with chat gpt this ai story generator tool this is how it works um you are going to input your topic and it works based on two languages you can add more languages if you wish but i just used two languages for test so um it works in um, English and um, Spanish. So let me go to English. Let me choose English and then let me just write any topic. Um, let me write um, a man in the woods. So just any story. Okay, I want to generate a story on the ma a man in the woods. You can customize this AI tool. You can change the, um, the length of the output. You can change anything there. So I'll just give you some guides on how to do that. Um, so let me just start the conversation. So then this right here will be spinning. This is actually producing the results. So we are going to wait for this result to finish generating, and then we can easily copy it and also share it on any social media platform that we want to share it to. All right, you can see how it looks like. So um, this is what I'm going to do. I will copy this and I will show you how it will look like. So let me paste it on my note editor. Um, it might not show the paragraph here, but once you copy it, it will copy the paragraphs too. So you can see it generated a short story, and this is actually amazing. All you need is your OpenAI API key, and then a WordPress website, then a page builder, and then the WP Codes WordPress plugin. That is all you need to set up this kind of AI tool on your website, and you can also create something similar using Chat GPT. So let's get started. Now, this is the blog post I also made for um, this AI tool, like a tutorial. So you can actually go to this also, how it works, everything is here, and the full explanation is there. And this is where you can also copy the codes that I used. So this is um, where you can copy the codes you can see. So you can copy the codes right here. So I'm going to teach you everything from start to finish. So let us get started. Go to your dashboard on your WordPress website. So once you get to your dashboard, the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to install the WP Code plugin. This is actually a code snippet plugin that you can use to add custom codes to your WordPress website. If you don't want to mess up your website themes or any of your plugins, this is actually a safer way instead of editing your function.php file this is a safer way to edit and add some additional codes to your wordpress website so to install this plugin just go to your plugins and then click on add new then we search for the wp codes there are actually more than one code snippet plugins there are many of them but for me i personally use the wp code and it has worked for me. I've been using it for like some few months now and it has been working for me perfectly. So um, let me activate it. So once you've activated it, you are going to see um, this course, this code snippet right here. So just click on it, code snippet. So this is actually um, the interface. So um, this is uh, some codes I wrote before. These two codes came with um, the plugin so let me delete this code because i don't want repetition so i'm just gonna delete this one okay so once you already installed the code snippet you can also add more free snippets for example um let me click on add new so we are going to see some of the free code snippet that um they actually offer for example you can add some of these code snippets or some of these additional codes to your WordPress website. For example, you can allow SVG files upload. Once you use the snippet, it will automatically write the code for you. The code is already there, disabling of comments and a lot of other things. So there are actually five of them. 
so you can check a lot of so if you need any features on your wordpress website that you actually want to add you can use this code snippet and it works perfectly so um i want to add a new snippet so click here add your custom code so once you add your custom code you are going to input your title and then the code preview so the title let us write um ai story generator 2 okay so and um, your code type we are going to make use of the php code so uh, we can input html codes just text then the blocks which is actually for the premium version then the javascript php universal and then css code so we are making use of php code right here so let me go back to um the websites this one so i'm going to copy the c oh sorry the php code so i'll just copy this right here i'll copy it copy and also i forgot to show you um about the share function so this is where you can share it on social media i see on twitter facebook linkedin so you can close it okay so i've copied the code i'll just paste i'll just paste it here then this inactive make sure you make it on just make it to be active then make sure this one is set to run everywhere run everywhere yeah then any device type you don't need to work on the rest what you're gonna do is that you're you're going to save the snippet the snippet has been created and saved so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to create a new page to host this ai tool we are going to navigate to our pages and then we are going to add a new page so go to their pages then add a new page so once you add in a new page just input the title of the page let me just add ai story generate so first of all publish it just for, so that this we actually save this um title we actually save once you published it uh let me close this click edit with elemental now you can use any page builder but for me i prefer elemental page builder we don't have elemental page builder you can easily go to your plugins and add name then search for the elemental page builder and you can install it let me just click edit with elemental so this is the page edit with elemental so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to add html element to it just search this widget and search for html so you are going to see it right here and then what you need to do is that you will drag it and then drop it here and then you are to input the html code here uh, let me go back to this and i'll copy the html code so this is the html code uh not this one this is um the combination of html and css code yeah because you are making use of html code css code and javascript code so this is actually the combination of it's the html and the java oh sorry and the css code this is only html code to make this easier for you i produce the whole html javascript and css code which you can just copy and paste so this is the code but this one only contains the html and css so the javascript is still below we are going to copy the javascript code and also add it to it let me copy it and then paste it here you can see how it looks then for the javascript code because without the javascript code it can't work and note what i said that if you want to change the um, placeholder text in the input box like this one this is your topic you can find this code and edit it just look, look for this code and then edit it it should be and a software so once you find it you can easily edit the code and then for the javascript code can see you can read the functions of the um of the javascript code in this article just read these functions and then so that we know what it is used for just copy this just copy this just copy this and then paste it so once you finish pasting it this code should work and then this body this last tag is a mistake yeah so i deleted it just click on updates and if you want to add a title you can click this plus icon 
and then click this plus so just click this you can see this plus search for the heading then type it AI story in there it turn so then align this to the center then you can also create some space go to the advanced and then you see um the margin or the padding so let me just increase the padding the top padding should be like 50 you can see that the pace uh, the space already increased i think that's see it then click on update then one more thing which is very important is actually that one more thing that we forgot to do which is actually very important is to um get your api key which is very very important don't forget you will need api key if you really want this code to work and to input an api key you are going to edit the php code in the wp code login so before we do that let us generate a, an api key if you want to generate an api key just go back to this article here it is how to get an open ai api key so just click on this link let me open this in a new tab so you can see how it looks like so once you click on this link you are going to sign in and then you are going to generate your api key click login so once you log in you will see this three option chat gpt dial and then the api so we are going to choose the api so just click on the api so it will direct you to where you can log in your account um for me i've already logged in on this account just click on personal and click view api keys if you don't have an api key yet you can see this api key just click on create new secret key and then once you created the new secret key just copy the key and then you can now use it anyway so once you copy the key go back to this uh, go back to your dashboard once you go to your dashboard go to the, the um code snippet click on it and then edit this code locate this you can see this you can see replace with your actual api key just paste your api key and update it so i'm going to do that right now i have updated it you can see snippet updated okay so let us check out our new tool the one we just created so let us check it out so these are the pages this is um the tool let me open it in a new tab and then i'll try out the tool and then see if it's gonna work so let me just write anyone let me just write a little girl and then english start conversation so this is already spinning so we should get our answer very soon all right you can see we already got our answer so we can copy this and then we can paste it here you can see the output so you can just edit it to your taste or you can share it on social media or whether you want to use twitter facebook or linkedin you can share um the story on all, any of these platforms and you are good to go now one thing i've done is that actually for the code i added some comments if you are very good if you know a little bit about html code you can easily know what is is called the comments so these comments will guide you to what you can edit and also if we check the uh, php code that we used here i added some comments for example this is the code to get the topic and if you scroll you can see more other comments like that so you can easily edit them to your tastes i can also go back to the html code if you want to edit anything there so just click on it and you can read it or you can copy it and paste it in maybe your notepad or anything so you can just try to check for the comments and then you can see this is where you can change your placeholder text so this is where you can add more languages so if you want to add more languages i easily copy this and paste it for example i copy this pasted it so you can see then let me use the tab so i pasted it i can add any other languages that i want to add so that is how it is so it is kind of easy and if you are good with html code before you can easily um edit it and another thing you can do if you are not good with HTML code it is not a difficult thing what you need to do is to copy this code and paste it in chat gpt and ask that chat gpt to enhance this code for you or if you don't like the styling you can ask chat gpt to style it and make it a little more advanced 
So you can ask it to do anything to this code, whether this HTML code or the PHP code. If you want to add any other function, just paste the code to ChatGPT and ask that, okay, I want to add this function to this code. Help me with it. So it will help you out with it and it will give you the process on how to do it. So that was how I was able to generate this code using ChatGPT. So if you know that this video has helped you, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and comment below if you have any questions. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.